Right guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this video. So, today we are talking about my new abs routine. Um, if you follow me in the past, for the past 20 odd years, I've always hit the same type of uh, ab exercises in the same type of routine. And it's worked very well for me in the past, but I'm bored of it. I wanna do something different. So I'm gonna talk you through the exercise as we go, but basically one massive circuit. So instead of doing four sets of one exercise and then move on to the next exercise, then move on to the next. We're gonna do about five exercises in total, maybe even six, dependent, and we're just gonna do it in one big circuit, no rest, and then we repeat it three times. And then at the end, I like to add a bit of uh, skipping at the minute, sled pulls, anything just more functional uh, for fat burning, as well as keeping that core tight the whole time. So first exercise, we're gonna go straight into a hanging leg raise. It is my ultimate favorite. It hurts, it's horrible, but it's definitely the most effective when training abs. And then we're just gonna go through the, the routine because I won't be talking through it because I'll be tired. Let's go. Right guys, so we're doing a voiceover here because as you can see, I wanna get straight into the session. Hanging leg raise is for me the ultimate ab exercise. Uh, it's great for your transverse abdominis, your upper and lower abdominals, your hip flexors. It's just an all round great midsection uh, exercise. So it's something I typically start on because it's one of the hardest. Try to prevent yourself from swinging and just keep that tension throughout the whole movement. As you can see, I'm trying to take out the swing. We're then moving on to one of my second favorites, um, and this is a weighted abdominal crunch. Uh, this is great for upper and lower abdominals, and it's good to just put it under load. Um, I do a lot of own body weight nowadays, but this is something what really gonna help with getting that thickness towards your abs. So I typically only go for 10 to 12 reps, but keep it heavy and keep it in the midsection. Keep it away from the lower back and just make sure you're crunching. So I'm gonna give you a little breakdown. So first exercise, hanging leg raise. Second exercise, weighted abdominal crunch. Now we're going on to, I don't know, reverse abdominal, reverse abdominal crunch on a rower. So yeah, this is a reverse um, abdominal crunch on a rower. This is great um, for keeping things tight. So I found this exercise helps with being able to hit a pose on stage and contracting my abs really hard um, without making it really look really hard, if you get what I mean. So um, I think it's a great exercise and it's not typically what a lot of people do. We're now moving on to bicycles. Uh, so that we're going to do a lot of mat work now, uh, consecutively. Uh, and this is great for obliques, again, transverse abdominis and uh, upper and lower abdominals. So this one is a killer for me and it really does hit my obliques exactly how I need them to. We're then going to move on to toe touches or ankle touches. Um, for me, this is not something I normally do because I don't like to crunch down on my obliques. I like to do twist work on my obliques just to to take away or negate away from um, creating a thickness to my lower abs. Uh, but it is great if you can just lift your shoulders off the pad, uh, off the, the mat, and uh, yeah, just make sure you crunch it. And really push yourself to its limits and keep your core tight at all times throughout the whole exercise. It's great, give it a try. We're now moving on to rollouts. Um, this is something I'd suggest doing first off if you've never done them before because it takes a lot of energy um, and it's really hard. The key to this is keeping your back, your midsection, everything as tight as possible. Um, and yeah, just don't create any, um, any movement, any swing. It's just all about nice, constant tension. Keeping the momentum exactly the same, the tempo of each rep the same and just keep it in that midsection. To make it harder, you can obviously do it uh, stood up. I would never be able to do that. On the knees is perfectly fine for me and it hits perfectly where I need it to. So uh, it's just personal preference on how you do these.
Right guys, so we're going to move on to the second part of this workout. So core is all done. We're now going to do a bit of functional high intensity cardio training. So we're going to do one minute skipping. We're going to do two lengths with a sled pull. We're then going to do some box jumps, but ass to grass squatting. So we get the full range of motion. And then we're going to do 30 seconds to a minute. If we can do a minute, I want to do a minute. Um, ski erg. Okay, so four exercises, one minute on each station roughly, and then we get one minute, 90 second rest in between. So this is quite high intensity. So I'm not sure how long I can do this for. We've just got to assess my weight loss if I start to incorporate this every week, if I'm on prep. If I'm off season, it doesn't really matter too much because I'll just put more calories in on that day. So let's go. Right guys, so as you can see, skipping. Um, this isn't my forte, I'm not the best at skipping, but uh, brings back memories. Uh, I used to do this every morning um, at one stage and I absolutely loved skipping. I think it's brutal and it really does help with uh, calf definition as well. So as you can see, moving on to sled pulls. For me, this is just awesome for endurance, Getting, making sure your glutes, hamstrings, quads, everything's fired up. The key to this is making sure your arms are locked out. The elbows should be fully locked out and just pulling, pushing through the legs, um, not with a bend and putting it into your shoulders. Ski erg, again, this is a love-hate relationship. It's something I used to do in the early days, back in 2015, 16, when I did a lot of functional training in the morning for my cardio. Um, again, it's absolutely brutal. It's important to try and get full strokes, big strokes. Use the momentum uh, with your legs as well. Pull down with your legs um, and your arms at the same time. Um, and again, this is not something I'm a pro at, so it's just something I enjoy doing. Right, as you can see, we're doing astagraph squatting at the bottom and squatting at the top. Um, I was aiming for 10 to 15 uh, reps in total, if I can. Uh, and again, this really got my heart rate up. And I, I must admit, at this stage, I'm really struggling. <laughs> it was only the first round. Right, guys, that is the session over. As you can see, 100 grams of cyclic dextrin, 40 grams of protein post-workout. Um, so today's workout was just trying to show you my new abs routine this is what i'm hitting typically twice a week at the minute so the first part of um, the workout was six exercises core exercises but just as one big circuit no rest in between exercises we get a one minute break and then we do it again so we do three to four rounds i did four rounds but if you want to try this start off with three and just see how you go and the second part was more functional, high intensity training. So my typical go-to cardio is low intensity fasted in the morning when I'm on prep. But this is something I miss doing. As a kid, I did a lot of gymnastics, a lot of uh, football, high intensity sports, and I kind of miss that feel free movement. And it, it just showed today how bad my uh, cardiovascular system and how bad my endurance is. Um, so I enjoyed it, I'm tired now, but again, we just, ski erg, box jumps, sled pulls or pushers, um, skipping just to get the heart rate up and just getting a whole array of functional fitness exercises, put it into one circuit. Um, that's me done for the day, hope you've enjoyed this. Give it a try, see what you think, comment below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.